I honor the healing ministry generals and fathers of our country. David E. Taylor honoring and celebrating the legacy of faith in the healing ministry with God's generals. Do you know that wonderful fellowship of the Holy Spirit of having yielded your will to the will of the Father? Whose wheelchair is this? Give him a great faith. Coming into this life came a man. He said, I'm sent in the presence of God. Your name is uh, Eva, yeah. and your house number is 61363. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Be healed. Now you've got polio. We ask that his little limbs be healed. Oh! Among men whereby we must be saved, there is no other way except by the way of that cross. It is Apostle David E. Taylor's heart to honor the life and legacy of God's healing evangelist. This video is to inspire you and let you know that the healing ministry of Jesus Christ is still alive and well today in the 21st century. The healing ministry has been for centuries, including in Jesus' own life and ministry, the most important part of his ministry, and that was healing the sick and displaying miracles. This is a testament throughout the years of those who were used in miracles. Historic Past Generals. John Alexander Dowie. He is known as the Healing Apostle. This picture is a wall of all the crutches and canes and miracles that he had in his services of people who got healed. He pioneered the healing gospel to be preached again in America and around the world. Maria Woodworth, a woman of unusual signs and wonders, because she fell into a frozen trance. Bishop C.H. Mason, founder of the Church of God in Christ. Need the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your greatness and great love show. Charles F. Parham, the father of the Pentecostal movement. William J. Seymour, initiator of the Azusa Street Revival. Smith Wigglesworth, the apostle of faith whose life was marked with the power to raise the dead. John G. Lane, known as a man of healing. Over 100,000 documented healings took place under his ministry. Amy Simple McPherson, founder of the Foursquare Church. Give me a burden for souls, Lord. Raymond T. Ritchie, in a meeting in Tulsa, there was 11,000 conversions and trucks piled high with crutches and canes of people healed. The Revivalist. Charles Finn, a leader in the Second Great Awakening in the United States. He has been called the father of modern revivalism. Evan Roberts, a young revivalist who spearheaded the Welsh Revival. In just six months, 150,000 were saved. The recent deceased generals. After the Second World War, two major national movements revitalized the American church. One was the evangelical movement, spearheaded by Dr. Billy Graham. There is none other name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. There is no other way except by the way of that cross. The Voice of Healing Revival was spearheaded by William Branham and Orr Roberts. The Voice of Healing paved the way for the many healing generals who recently came on the scene today, the great Dr. Oral Roberts. Well, the he young man, young woman, be healed and set free with the power of the name of Christ. The card says she was in a car wreck eight weeks ago. She cannot remember the past. Deterioration of the jawbone that dislocates when the mouth opens. Heal! Restore! How old are you? Sixteen. What's your mother's name? Feeney. Where were you born? Jackson, Mississippi. What's your father's name? Eugene Feeney. Who healed you? God. God. Patty, who healed you? God. Mrs. Feeney, who, who did this for your children? God. William Brand, a prophet who was visited by the Lord, who had notable signs and wonders. He had the glow light around his body in halo fur. spring in my room. Coming into this light came a man, and he said to me, fear not. He said, I am sent in the presence of God to tell you that you are to pray for sick people. Great signs and wonders will be following your ministry, and you'll be praying for kings and monarchs and so forth. You've had a, I see a great crash of some sort. Yes. It's an accident. Yes, yes. And you, yes. it was a car uh, wreck. Yes. And you were thrown in the air yes. like that. Yes. And it's strained you in somewhere in your neck and it's called the 
a cancer yes. to come into your neck. Your name is uh, Eva, yeah. and your house number is 613 Sixth Street. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You're going home to be well oh. in the name of Jesus. A.A. A. Allen, known as a man of power and miracles, signs and wonders. Oh, Jesus. This will be a miracle, friends. Jack Coe, Pentecostal evangelist, nicknamed the man of reckless faith. Well, hear and speak in the name of Jesus. Boy, mother, baby. God has definitely opened these ears. I'm a Jesus, he well written and free, and it's for you. Little Davy Walker, who had the power of resurrection upon his life. As you see in this photo, he supernaturally lifted off the ground in the eyes of everyone there. Catherine Kuhn, a woman of destiny who believed in miracles and had the electricity powers of the Father in her service. Which leg? Oh. Give him a great leg. <laughs> the recent deceased generals. Dr. Lester Summerall, founder of the SIA Broadcast. Kenneth E. Hay, who ministered, pioneer of the Word of Faith movement and known for his biblical teachings on healing, prosperity, and faith. The name! The name! The name! Archbishop Benson Itahosa, known as the father of the Pentecostal movement, John Osteen, who is the father of Joel Osteen, walked in the healing ministry. God wants to get people healed so bad. How long, Vera, were you in a wheelchair? 14 years. But right here in Lakewood Church, she walked out of the wheelchair. Let's see if she can walk now. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Give the Lord a hand clap. T.L. Osborne, best known for his mass miracle healing ministry overseas. Jesus notably appeared in his service in front of millions of unbelievers. He was a man of mighty signs and wonders. As many as received Jesus Christ, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, them that believe on his name. Dr. Morris Sorrell, commissioned by God to raise up an arm who walk in miracles, signs and wonders. <laughs> Reinhard Bonnke, well known for his mighty miracle crusades in Africa, where there'd be over two million a night. In the name of Jesus, I break the curses of the devil. The modern living generals. Benny Hinn, pioneer of modern miracle crusade evangelism in America and around the world. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. David E. Taylor was greatly impacted by Pastor Benny's life and his healing ministry. Apostle Taylor, endowed by the Lord Jesus, walking in the lineage of this same miracle healing ministry, has been commanded by Christ to put together the biggest healing movement with some of the most premier generals who are still walking in the healing ministry today. W.V. Grant received the mantle of William Branham, walking in the word of knowledge and miracles. Doctors have said, you'll never walk normal again. Dr. Jesus said, I'm reversing the curse. You're not crippled. 13 years, but you're not now. Peter Young. God didn't take you this far to drop you now. Mike Francine. The blind and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached unto them. Charles Indifferent. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Robert Kayanja. Holding miracle crusades in over 80 nations performing miracles, signs, and wonders. Lord, we rebuke every sickness, every disease. And Richard Roberts, the son of Dr. Oral Roberts, served as president of Oral Roberts University, which many of you attended for college, who has chosen to walk in his father's footsteps by dedicating his life to ministering the saving, healing, delivering power of Jesus Christ around the world. In the name of Jesus, every trace 
of cancer. Come out. Again, I say, come out. When Richard Roberts saw the massive Miracle Crusade vision that Apostle Taylor was carrying, Richard said, wow, that is huge. Congratulations. So glad you're obeying the Lord. My crusade days are over. It's for younger men. David E. Taylor, honored as a friend and healing ambassador of Jesus Christ, is continually working with today's leaders to preach the gospel. Rod Parsley, Sid Roth. He's 100% accurate on prophetic dreams. Dr. Yonggi Cho, who pastors the world's largest church. Don Clowers, who was mentored by A.A. A. Allen. For over 33 years, David E. Taylor has passionately and boldly proclaimed the healing miracle gospel of Jesus Christ to 200 nations of the world. It was during the Christmas season. I was 17 years old when it first happened. Jesus appeared to me in a dream and it changed my life forever. And he told me if I wrote this in a book that he would appear to millions all over the world. And it's happening now. We were in a service one day with you and you had said ahead of time, which is amazing in itself, that the Lord is going to come to you. And uh, about a week or two later, it, it, it did happen that way. He came, and he came this close, face to face. The Lord Jesus is using Apostle Taylor as not only a face-to-face -face prophet, but also in face-to-face -face miracle, which is very special and different. His miracle healing ministry does not just function out of a gift. Jesus has made a covenant with him to personally come himself to every miracle crusade he holds to walk into the room to touch and heal his people himself. This is not just a healing ministry like we have seen in the past. This is a new demonstration of God's power. of the people in this room let the bodies of the people in their homes go go now now that's right people lift your hands the devil of infirmity has been broken lift your voice with a shout and we see I've had back surgery and spinal stenosis in my neck and I have no more pain. Look, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Give me that cane. You're not going to need this cane. Receive it. There it goes. Come on, give God a shout. Walk. Walk now. Give Jesus the biggest shout of praise you can. Oh, look at that. She's running. There it is. There it is right there. There it is. That's the miracle. Stand on your feet and give the Lord the biggest shout of praise you can. Oh, glory be to God. Oh. Look at how she's walking without a cane. Look at that. I take 60 milligrams of Oxy. I have none of the pain that was here on the side. Nothing. Nothing. Give the Lord a shout of praise, people. Critical condition tonight after a shooting outside a Georgia restaurant. How many of you heard about this year of NFL Super Bowl? A young man was shot point blank for rooting for the 49ers. It was national news. This is the young man. Oh! Four people had already died around him. The doctor said, Chris is not gonna make it. The young man went into a coma and died for 20 minutes. And they said never in the history of the hospital have they lost four patients with a fifth expected. I text Apostle Taylor. He said, Chris is not gonna die, he's gonna live. This was a resurrection. Yes, it was. You shot me twice. As here it is a year later and I'm standing before you. As you know, many media outlets have tried to destroy the healing ministry of Jesus and the incredible men and women of the supernatural power of God. This has been a plot of Satan. Robert Tilton, they attacked, or Roberts, they attacked Benny Hinn. 
Catherine Kuhlman, A.A. Allen. Every healing evangelist has went through persecution. They are some of the most popular and flashy TV evangelists in the country. The core of his appeal, his claim that God uses him to miraculously and heal the, the sick. are still here at the Benny Hinn Ministries office serving a search warrant. As many as 30 million Americans tune in each month to watch this kind of religious program. Jack Cole was arrested 100 times. As you see in the title of this article, Faith Healing, Science or Fraud, even Orr Roberts was under scrutiny in his day. There were two terrible facts of life in the United States concerning the supernatural power of God. One was a lack of information, and then the second group was virulent. They uh, were skeptics. We began with a man best known as a healer, W.V. Grant. He's a is a faith healer who appears on TV all across the country. And his followers travel miles to see him and give a lot of money because they believe in his miracles. That the spirit of destruction cannot destroy your life or your family or your property. Larry Lee's followers say he's the next Billy Graham, where he raised money preaching that prayers would be answered through donations to God. He calls it sowing the seed. The best time to sow is when you're hit. Not only has the media attacked healing ministries, but other ministries that preach on faith and also divine prosperity from God are being attacked. You notice the attacks in America on CNN, Inside Edition, all of them is always attacking Chief money. investigative correspondent Lisa Guerrero interviewed televangelist Kenneth Copeland. Televangelist Jesse Duplantis says God himself told him it's time for an upgrade. He was arrested early Friday. Pinstripe wearing, prosperity preaching. So when paragon. you got born again, you took off the old man, put on the new man that's created in the image of God. Can you raise your right hand, please, ma'am? Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. They even persecuted Dr. Billy Graham during his gospel campaigns across America. The healing ministry has become almost extinct from being under the attack of the scrutiny of this American media. This wicked system in the media has always tried to make healing evangelists look bad and say everyone is fake. But this is not true. They persecute even real heaven sent healing evangelists and they focus on those who are not healed to discourage you and your faith. This type of media is not ran by God. It is ran by Satan. If this news media in America truly had a pure heart, why aren't they also exposing the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration that is killing many with additives and the wrong stuff that is put in food every year, the pharmaceutical companies that are selling pills and drugs, even over-the-counter medicines to people knowing that it is not even helping them nor curing them. They are all supporting these things. They are all in the bed together. And you ought to be ashamed as a Christian if you follow them that talk against men of God. We also have another group of people who talk about everybody. Busybodies and gossipers. They get on YouTube, Facebook, and they carry on their live media coverage to speak evil of men and women of God. This is not of God. There being so much persecution, even from TV and Christian networks, who are canceling out the supernatural, not even wanting to air it. You also see that we still have a sect in the church who don't even believe miracles are for today, and they try to discredit anybody who does miracles by God's power. And if you are in that group, you are treading on dangerous waters because you are saying God does not have the power to do this today. Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute. Jesus says, when a prophet is without honor, he can do no mighty miracles. Then began he to abrade the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. Christ is upset with those in America who have disrespected the healing and miracle ministry for he has done so many mighty works and miracles through these men and women. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Apostle David E. Taylor is raising up a mighty army and a war against the media, the Goliath of our day, that so many preachers of our generation are afraid to speak out against. And he will not stand for this because God is not standing for it. I refuse to let the devil have America. Something historical is happening. Apostle David E. Taylor is doing the longest shutaway of his life and in biblical history. I started hearing God talk to me, I want you to stay locked in here with me. Apostle has been in shutaway before God for two years. A few months into his shutaway, his whole body began to glow with the glory of God. And as he prayed, 
The fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistening. Luke chapter 9, verse 29. Moses was shut away with God for a number of days. Noah shut in the ark for one solid year. And he says after he shut in for one solid year, God made a covenant with the whole world, with all of man. He says a whole year shut in. But he says when you come out, God is going to make a massive covenant of glory with the whole globe after this shedding. Apostle is in Shutaway preparing for the biggest miracle arena crusade tour across America when he comes out. The mass miracle arena crusade ministry is returning to America, fighting for the healing miracle ministry in America. David E. Taylor honoring and celebrating the legacy of faith in the healing ministry with God's generals.